teacher friends, how are you doing today? Welcome back to Teacher Boss Class. Today we're checking information questions with will. Let's remember, will is a way to say the future, yes? That is a modal verb that expresses future. When you refer to instant decisions, uh, promises or offers, yes? That is when you use will. And in this case, let's learn how to make information questions. So, the first one, and I always emphasize this, is that the who subject question has a different structure. You see, who will bear and the complement. But teacher, why you don't have the subject? Because you don't know the subject. For example, who will come to the party? Do you know the subject? No, so that is why you made the question. Who will come to the party? Um, Patrick is coming to the party. Patrick will come to the party. Janet will come to the party. And Mike will come to the party. Oh, thank you for the information. Okay. So who will uh, who will study English with me? I don't know. Who will buy the flowers for Mother's Day? Uh, my brother. Oh, okay. Very good. And then the other questions have different structures. Like the who compliment. You are going to use the subject. Who plus will plus the subject. The very simple form and the complement. Let's check. Who will you eat dinner with? And that is important. That preposition that you use with the verbs, you need to use it, okay? Like, I will eat with my sister. So, who will you eat with? Who will Patrick work for? Who will you take care of? All right? Don't forget that. Who will you watch this video with? With, sorry. With your father, with your mother, with your family. Very good. All right. Then we have the what action. When I refer to what action question, it's because I don't know the action. So I cannot say who studied. I don't know the action. I don't know if it is a study, if it is work, if it is, you know, pay attention, if it is learn. I don't know the action. So I have to use the verb do. What will subject plus do and the complement? Example. What will you do after class? What will you do after class? What will mother do when she travels to the United States? What will your father do when he finds out you have an F in the test? Probably he will kill me. I don't know. No, it's okay. But he will take my PlayStation now. <laughs> and what about the object? Yes, I know the action, but I don't know the object of the verb. So, what will the subject bear in a simple form and complement? Like, what will you study tonight? Mathematics. What will you eat tomorrow? Pizza. Tomorrow's, you know, like it's close to the weekend, so pizza. What will she prepare for dinner? Um, I don't know, tortillas or something like that. What will my father, um, what will my father read this month? I don't know, The Lord of the Rings. Yeah, that's, a, that's a good book. Yeah, of course. All right. And the other questions have the same structure. When, will, subject, verb, complement. Where, why, how, will, subject, verb in the simple form, remember. And the complement. And we have some examples like, when will you travel? When will you come back? Where will you live? Where will you study in the university? Yeah. Why will she change the school? Because she will go to another city, probably. Why will you uh, share this video? Because this is awesome. Good. All right, now. How will Tom write a book? With patience, slowly, carefully, okay? How will he write a book? He will write a book carefully. Very good. So that is how you use information questions with Will remember to express instant decisions, promises, or offers. That is when you use will. Okay, so don't forget to share this with your friends so they can practice English. I'm going to send a link over here in the comment section so you can practice exercises with will and information questions. And something important, and really the most important part of this, is that yo decido ser amor, and in English it means I decide. To be love. Give love to others as much as the love that you want to receive and I promise that you're going to be a happier person. So thank you very much for coming to Teacher Bob's class. See you in the next video. 
Bye-bye.